Bless you, brothers and sisters. I pray that everybody's doing well. I want to bring a word that the Lord put in my heart, and um, it's got to do with persecution and uh, and the days ahead. And so, um, thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us together, Lord. I ask that you will touch your people, Lord. Thank you for these opportunities, that it will be your Holy Spirit that speaks through me, Lord. And that you cover us, uh, all the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus, Lord. And uh, thank you, Lord, that you prepare us in these hard days ahead, Father. That you will open up our eyes. The, those that have ears to hear, that will listen to the Holy Spirit, Lord. In a time when we need to be so surrendered to you, so seeking your face, so into your word, Father. That you will... Um, Open up our eyes and give us understanding that you will place such a love in our hearts, Father God, that when we're being persecuted, uh, uh, that you will place forgiveness in our heart, Father God, as well. In Jesus' name, that you will help us through these hard days ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so I, I just want to um, share the lateness of the hour that it is even as it is today and how um, I just can't help but feel grieved as I try to talk to people and to wake them up and I feel the uh, resistance, I feel the, the apathy, the total um, uh, sleepness even from so-called Christians and uh, people are more worried about their um, is who can um, are their nails done or uh, they can't get their nails done or they can't get the, somebody to cut their hair and they're more worried about all these these vanities of this world and and, and not watching how how severe and how quickly things are coming together folks and 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 it is such a serious time for us to get together with the lord to to for us to cut off everything that's of the world and and and, and by that i mean vanities and and being in the world to be in the world to be a friend of the world is to be at enmity is to be at war with the lord and so as i hear these things i, I try to talk to people and the, and they do you know Jesus? Just a simple question. And oh yeah, 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 but I don't want to talk about it. Well, if you don't want to talk about the Lord right now, what is it going to be when the pressure is on you? When the pressure is, is, is persecution is on you? If we deny him, the Lord tells us he will deny us in front of uh, the Lord and his angels. So... I, I uh, it's troubling. It's very troubling to see what's happening. There's a clear shifting that's happening. There's a separation even in the very body uh, of the weeds and the tares. And there's there's going to be a much greater separation, folks. We're going to see great betrayals for even from even those that we love and hold dear. That even today they are they are uh, our friends, our very family folks. It tells us so in the word, and, and we're gonna go through it because the Lord woke me up to Matthew ten, and Matthew ten is a chapter of persecution. The Lord warning us about persecution, and a few days ago He woke me up with to that uh, those scriptures. And so, but as we're seeing how things are unfolding, we're already seeing in Matthew 24, the Lord warned us that, you know, it'll be a time of great tribulation like it never has been in the world. And never, uh, never again it will be. It says in uh, Matthew 24, 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved, folks. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's how bad things are going to get. That the Lord himself has to intervene and shorten the days 
uh, for the elect's sake, or there will be no flesh saved. That's how bad things are going to get and how severe uh, the uh, times are going to come to be. And so the Lord also told us in the same uh, book of Matthew 24 that, you know, as we're seeing pestilence as the beginning of sorrows and earthquakes, we're seeing earthquakes everywhere and pestilence uh, worldwide. And we're seeing uh, uh, famines. There's going to be great, great famines worldwide. The Lord uh, told us this in the word. And so we're going to see it come to 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 pass we're going to go through severe times folks and we got to wake up we got to wake up and get close with the lord and get serious about the lord get really serious about your relationship with the lord seek him every single day i beg of you seek him every day make time for him you have to make the time for him um and in matthew 24 uh, verse 10 it says and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another people are going to be offended full of envy okay and betraying one another and shall hate one another full of hatred and envy and we're seeing these things starting to brew up and it's already happening uh, across the the entire world and it's coming to the western nations folks and um, there's going to come a time when we're going to see uh, martyrdom. When, there, when, when, when the, the mark of the beast is here, folks. The Revelation 13 is here. And with that, when that system is, is being forced upon all the people in the world, it tells us in Revelation 13. Thank you, Heavenly Father. When this is being forced upon everybody, Except those that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Except you, my dear brother and sister. If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you are resisting this, this the evil beast system. You're not going to conform to their commands and their demands. And we will be persecuted. It tells us in Revelation 13. Uh, verse 7 it says and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him everyone that dwells upon the earth will worship him those that are not written in the Lamb's book of life those that are not totally given to the Lord Jesus Christ and fully surrendered to him are going to be worshiping the beast they're going to be worshiping the, the system coming up they're going to be uh, deceived and they're going to take the mark folks and so, um, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Oh, let the, the Lord Jesus Christ touch your heart today. If you're lukewarm, let this be a wake up call to you to, to come out of the world and stop being lukewarm. lukewarm. To come out of doing, uh, to be in, uh, living in a life of sin and come back to your first love. Let this be a call to understand that we are getting so close. Judgment is at the door, folks. Great judgments are at the door. And none of us are promised tomorrow. None of us are promised tomorrow. We got to get serious. It's given unto man once to die. It's appointed unto man once to die. And then the judgment. And one day we will all stand before the living God. And give an accounting to him for what we've done on this earth. Praise you Lord. So we got to get serious about the Lord. Verse 10. Uh, Revelation 13 verse 10 says. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword shall, must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The patience and the faith of the saints to endure until the end. The Lord told us in, in Matthew 24, He who endures till the end shall be saved. To endure, to persevere through all the persecution, the tribulation, and all the things that are coming. Uh, it tells us in the book of Revelations, 
uh, chapter 20, verse 4, it talks about that we will be beheaded for our faith in Jesus Christ, that we will be beheaded for resisting the beast system, that we will be beheaded when we refuse to take the mark. We will no longer be able to buy or sell. We won't be able to hold a job. We won't be able to travel. We won't be able to go here or there. You won't be able to buy gasoline. You won't be able to buy food. You won't be able to provide for your children. You won't be able to do nothing. We will be ostracized, persecuted, and, and, and uh, killed for the great name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the honor of serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation 24 talks about we will be beheaded. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, those that have the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ, and for the word of God, and carrying the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, these had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. It's in, not on their hands or in, on their forehead. It's in the forehead and on the in the hand. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. We got all kinds of technology that is coming up and, and being uh, used, folks, to, to uh, put the mark in your body. And, and without people knowing. And so, but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. But they that shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's go to, um, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Lord, I worship you. I worship your holy name. I worship you, Lord. This nation has to come back to repentance. We got to come back to repentance as a nation. But personally, on a personal level, as they're persecuting us, as they're trying to erase us from the map, as they're trying to come against us for the word of God, as they're hating us for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we got to carry the, the and glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and carry it forth, folks. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord. We cannot bow down to the beast system. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Praise you, Lord. And Matthew 10, if you want to go there with me, 10, uh, 17, it says, But beware of man, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Okay, this is talking about uh, 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 betrayals. This is talking about prison. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up. When. Not if. When this happens. Take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. The Lord will give us a mouth of, of his uh, mighty, holy, powerful. The power of God in, in our mouths to speak. For it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father, which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up brother to death and father, the child. And the children shall rise up again against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Folks, we're seeing people being uh, uh, rewarded for snitching. We're seeing uh, 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 the word tells us they're going to turn you in. Great injustices are coming. And uh, your own family, your own family members, those that are not rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ, those that are, that are not uh, right with the Lord, those that are not uh, fully given to Him, and with their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life, many will turn others in, their own blood, your friends, 
our people that we love. And so, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? The false accusers, the false accusations. And, um, but the Lord warned us, he said, Fear them not, therefore, Matthew ten twenty six, for there is nothing covered. Nothing is covered. Everything is recorded in the, in the supreme courts of heaven. Everything is recorded by the almighty, supreme, divine judge, the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing is covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light. And what you hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body. Don't fear them. We cannot fear them that kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. They cannot take our, 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 our soul. They can destroy the body, but they cannot destroy the soul. But rather fear him, the almighty God, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. He is the one that we have to fear. The living God almighty is the one that we have to fear. Thank you, heavenly father. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, heavenly father. Thank you, Lord. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Lord is going to be with us in the fire. And we got to remember that the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. This is his promise. This is his promise to his people. And his, and his many great and, and, and precious, exceedingly great and precious promises as it talks about in the book of Second Peter 1. They're all, we got to remember them. And so in the book of Hebrews 11, chapter 11, it talks about how they were persecuted and and and. Uh, many were tortured and not accepting verse 35 many were tortured other um, and not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings yes moreover of bonds and imprisonment they were stoned they were sown asunder Okay, Isaiah was cut in two. He was sown in two. They were tempted. They were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute. They were destitute, afflicted, persecuted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, Receive not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. They without us should not be made perfect. So, um, praise you, Lord. I wanted to bring this word forth because the Lord has really been uh, stirring up my heart to, to bring it to you guys, to get us prepared, to get our... Uh, our hearts right with the Lord and to seek him really really seriously um, to to we need to be hearing from the Holy Spirit in these days there's gonna come a day and not too far from the future that that these videos that that us being able to talk online and and uh, bring forth the word is not gonna be allowed in this new uh, 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 system of the beast and so we have to be able to hear from the Holy Spirit so that he can guide us, so that he can tell us what's coming, so that he can uh, warn us. Okay, and many have been warning people for years now, and not many are listening, and still not many are listening. And so let this be a call to you out of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, 
calling out to you come seek the lord repent repent we all have to repent we all uh, uh have to keep a, a a repentant life okay and and seek him seek him with all your heart and if you are not saved please do not wait any longer please do not wait any longer i have shared in my uh youtube channel of my i've shared in my other channels uh, about my experiences about hell i've shared my experience about the the judgment seat of christ if you have not seen them please watch him it is very important that we are in walking in the fear of the lord and not fearing man okay and in these days fear is being used as a weapon to move people to do what they don't want to do and to move people to do things and to to submit and and so will the mark come through fear to to uh, unbelief and through all these weapons that the evil one uses to get people to submit and and so um praise you lord i love you guys i bless you i pray for you guys i pray for each and every one of you i, I love you from my heart I say that and, and I bless you and I pray that the Lord is equipping you, preparing you and that you seek him with all your heart. In Jesus name, till soon again, Lord willing, be safe, be in peace. Bye bye.